Revelation is defined as the act of revealing hidden truths. God communicating divine truths. Unlocking mysteries. And when our eyes are opened, the darkness is flooded with great light. Immediately deliverance has come. And freedom has come. This freedom isn't just for you or me, but for our families, our communities, and the generations connected to us. His word, by his spirit, for his kingdom. This isn't just any church. This is Revelation Church. Welcome, 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 Revelation Church, to another amazing Thursday night prophetic service. We are in the house of the Lord. Revelation Church, are you excited to be here? Y'all got to make more noise than that. (laughs) Welcome, welcome, welcome. Being in the house of the Lord is a gift in of itself. His presence is here. We have all seen it, so we are excited that you are in the presence to receive all that God has for you today. Yes, we are so excited to have our Revelation Nation online family as well. We want you to know that God is going to touch you right where you are, Mm -hmm. and distance is not a barrier in the spirit. Amen. So make sure you guys are staying active on that chat, letting us know what you're thinking throughout service. We want to see all of your comments. That's right. There are so many ways to stay connected at Revelation Church, and our ministries continue to grow. We have merch. We have prayer every first Saturday with Apostle Gershon. We have our Revelation Youth, which is our middle school and high school ministries. We have Rise, which is our ministry training program, and Solo, which is the new singles ministry. And we have a Revelation newsletter. The ministries continue to grow at Revelation Church. So if you have any questions whatsoever about what's going on at Revelation Church, upcoming events, come out to the lobby and visit the info booth right out front and scan the QR code so that you don't miss a single thing that God has just for you. Yes, we are so excited for all of our information and our exciting news at the info booth. Also, make sure that you guys are signing up for the Power Shot. It is a daily devotional with our very own Prophet Lovi, and it's a great way to keep up and go deeper in your walk with God each and every single day. And also, we have Realms of Meditation, so make sure that you guys are heading on over to the website at prophetlovi.com. That's right. I absolutely love our Power Shot and our Realms of Meditation. It's so beautiful to have tools to come to church every Thursday and Sunday, but to have a daily devotional every single day, that is a tool and it's very very special so prophetlovi.com to get signed up for those two things if you would like to give in the house of the lord make sure that you follow the instructions that will come up on the screen and if you would like to give in person just grab the envelope right in the chair right in front of you and make sure that you write legibly at the end of service there'll be a time where you can place your offering place your seed place your giving right on the altar of god so just wait till the end of service and make sure you write legibly on the envelopes. Yes, amen. We also want you guys to stay connected with us on social media. So make sure that you guys are liking, sharing, and subscribing to all of our social media platforms. We are growing so fast, and you guys do not want to miss anything. And also make sure you are staying connected to our website at revelationchurchla.org. I absolutely love that because not, again, like I said, not just Thursdays and not just Sundays, but you never know when the prophet has a fresh word. It could be Tuesday at 2 p.m. and Uh the prophet might go live. So make sure that you stay subscribed, stay connected so you don't miss a single word. Yes. Speaking of a special word. Daughters of Revelation, we just had a powerful time in the presence of God this past Tuesday. Daughters of Revelation is hosted by Prophetess Maggie, and we meet every first Tuesday of the month for a special service right here at 7.30 p.m. It's a time for the women of the house to gather in the presence of God with prayer and with power. Child care is provided, so you don't have to miss out. But now, ladies, it does not stop there. What? Daughters will gather again on YouTube Live for a Daughters Recap, the Monday following service. 
For more information and to connect, follow Revelation Daughters on Instagram. That's R V L T N D G H T R S on I G. This is a new thing, and we are so excited. So we'll see you at the Daughters Recap. I'm definitely excited. Our daughter's ministry is so powerful. Amen, amen. We do have a quick little video before we move on, so check out this clip. God bless you. We are Prophets Lovi and Maggie Elias, and we are here to invite you for our very first partner's dinner on February 24th at 7 p.m. In this beautiful evening that we have in store for all of you, you'll be able to partner with the vision of the house for Revelation Nights, for all the in-house improvements, for Revelation Academy, for Revelation Network, and for the new building that God has in store for us and for all of you. We cannot wait to share this beautiful evening with all of you. Go to revelationchurchla.org to register. This is a new one from Revelation Worship. It's called Love Don't Stop. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Revelation Church, what's up? How y'all feeling? So Revelation Worship just dropped Love Don't Stop. And we want you guys to go stream it. It's on iTunes, Apple Music, Amazon Music, all streaming platforms. Go run it up. Go buy it on iTunes. And we also want you to go check out the video on YouTube. Run those numbers up. We got a whole campaign behind it. And we got a lot of new music coming out between now and the summer. So it's going to be a lot that you guys can enjoy and a lot more to look forward to. We appreciate you, family. God bless. God bless. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you so much, Apostle Mike. I am so excited to see what Revelation Worship has. This is just the start, and I can't wait to see what God is going to do with Revelation Worship. Amen. And I am so excited to give this announcement to the Revelation Youth. Our Revelation Youth is having a movie night. We are going to the theaters on the 17th of February, which is this Saturday. This Saturday, this yes. Saturday at 2.45 p.m., we are going to be watching Madam Web Spider. So all middle and high schoolers and parents are invited. And parents, you are only invited if you have your teenager with you. <laughs> so make sure you scan the QR code on the screen or register at revelationchurchla.org to reserve a seat. That's right. And ladies and gentlemen, this is last, but absolutely not least. We have the Partners Dinner on February 24th. That is coming up just around the corner. And this dinner is a very special dinner for those of you who are called to, to partner with Revelation Church, for the vision that God has given Revelation Church, because this is so much more than just this building, but plans for a new building, yes. plans for Revelation Nights, yes. plans for Revelation Academy. Yes. There are so many things that God has given this house. So... If it is on your heart to partner with Revelation Church, to be a founder, to be a donor, please visit revelationchurchla.org. Unfortunately, there are no more seats available for in-person, but we do have an online registration so you can still be a part of the dinner, still hear everything that is said during the presentation, and you can definitely partner with Revelation Church. So please visit the website, revelationchurchla.org, to get registered tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Are you guys excited for service? Yes. We are so excited. Like we said, here is where God's presence lives. Yes. This is the house of God. Yes. So if you are called here tonight, there is something special just for you. So please rise to your feet. May your hearts be expecting for something new tonight and prepare your hearts for prayer. We love you so much. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Somebody give the Lord a shout in the house. Somebody give the Lord a shout in the house. I didn't say to yourself, to the King of glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. The word of God says, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fairy darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God.
praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, today I lift you up. I pray for you. I pray concerning you that it is well with you. Neighbor, as I lift my voice, pray with me concerning me as well. Let us do this together. I want to remind you that in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. So I thank God that you're going to experience the fullness of joy. Neighbor, I need to remind you the word of God says that where two or three are guarded in agreement that everything that is decreed and declared is done. Neighbor, I remind you you are the redeemed of the Lord. So you qualify. Come on and lift your voice and pray for one another. Rabba Kusa, lift your voice, lift your voice. Pray for one another, lift your voice. All over the centuries, lift your voice, pray for one another. Lift their homes, lift their families before the throne of grace. Libra Nushta, Melebo Zababa, Madorian de Lebaba, lift the one to your left, lift the one to your right, lift them before the throne of grace, that it will be well with them, Miremoja, Madarabazaya, that their bodies will respond to divine intervention. Melebana Mazanda. We stand not in the name of a man, but we stand in the name of the Lord. And the word of God says, Aramashata, because we stand in his name, that, oh, he hears us. He hears us. So I want you to know that the Lord hears you tonight. I want you to know that he hears you as your prayer is lifted up. He hears you. As you lift your home up, he hears you. As you lift your career, as you lift your endeavors, as you lift your business. Madere boja, rama mama makata, raba raba rabri andele babi, meza bada babando la babaya, rama kata la baraba zanda, rama zobada babaya. Come on, lift your voice, lift your voice. Ebra da baba da baso baba de, mazebra na mazanda baba ya. Aya da baba baso bana makata la baba da baza. Your strength comes from the Lord. Your strength comes from the Lord. May your body be quickened tonight. May everything that concerns you be quickened tonight. Madere de de boja. Rama mama mama zeba da baba ya. We cancel every very doubt. We cancel every mouth that has come against you. We nullify and abort every plan of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Patterns that are not of God, patterns that you recognize that are not of God, upon them, cancel them, nullify them in the mighty name of Jesus. Ayanamakata, agreements, covenants in the realms of the spirit that are not of God. 
that are coming against you. We are bought. We are bought. We are bought. We are bought. In the mighty name of Jesus. And if you believe what you just prayed for, come on and give him a shout. Give him a shout. Give him a shout. Give him a shout. Come on and turn to your neighbor. Give your neighbor a high five and say, Neighbor, it is well with you. Rejoice in the mighty name of Hallelujah.
the back while I look on the, online. My God is better than good to me. Come on and shout hallelujah. Hey. Hey. I want y'all to clap your hands together. Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory. You deserve our praise. You deserve our worship. I'm breathing, I'm blessed the Lord. As long as I'm breathing, oh yes, I'm breathing, I'll bless the Lord. Whoa, hey. Come on, people of God, let's sing together. Sing, I will bless the Lord.
this next song you know this week I actually get, was really challenged man and I was like oh okay because we always get challenges it is easy street it's easy because he's always gonna be there to take away all the burdens all the worries all the stress so when it comes into our face we get to rest because he's right there he's right there so as we sing this song just remember whatever you brought here today just lay it down and that whatever the enemy tries to do to distract you, he shall not. He cannot. Because God is in this building. The angels are here. They are hearing your cry. They already came ahead of you. So all we have to do is worship. All we have to do is give him the praise. Because he has answered your call. He has answered your prayer. This is a place of solutions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Will you be my light when I cannot see? When I can't take another step, Lord, would you carry me? And when I've lost my fight, will you be my strength? Will you set me a table in the presence of my enemies? I shall not want. I shall not want Oh, my soul's got a shepherd in the valley And I shall not want I shall not want I shall not want Oh, my cup's running over, running over And I shall not want So I will lift my eyes To where my hell comes from and I won't be afraid of the shadow Cause I've seen the sun And no, I will not stop When the way gets hard Cause the green only grows in the valley And that's where you are Can you help me say I shall not want it I shall not want Oh, my soul's got a shepherd
this life is over I'm gonna live again Gonna trade this cross for a crown Cause this is not the end And when he calls our names We will take our rest There's a mansion in glory And he's gonna meet us all there So we shall not want We shall not want He will wipe every tear from our eyes We shall not want We shall not want We shall not want I'll be home in his presence forever I shall not want I shall not want I shall not want, I shall not want. I'll be home in his presence forever. I shall not want. Oh, for the Lord is my shepherd. Right here in Simi Valley at Revelation Church. Is he your shepherd? For the Lord is my shepherd. When I'm lacking. For the Lord is our shepherd. And I
Come on. Woo. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. We love you. 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 We love you, Father. Say, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Beyond any earthly thing, beyond any person, beyond any job, beyond any wealth, I love you, Father. I love you, Father. I love you, Father. Come on, I want you to really focus on him before we enter into this song.
Father, you deserve all the glory. There is no other God except you. Lift your voice and begin to adore him with your own words. Ranama sata la bahaya. Riko dorobo sati bahaya. Remene bele bebe 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 shuka. Randore bebe bebe zika. Larote, larote. Miriam asutei. Levro malima azupere mehendele besa. 
Rada ba 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 shikata la masote. Lara ba shakata bahaya. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Ero masi kapaliga, paliga, paliga. Lere me suta la brase tele beheya. Mighty name. Jesus, mighty name. Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. It is your hour. It is your hour. It is your moment. It is your moment. To see the glory of God. To see the glory. Find another neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. It is your hour. It is your hour. It is your moment. It is your moment. To see the glory of God. To see the glory. Find of God. somebody that doesn't talk to you or is having a a strange looking face. If they are not smiling, they are the ones you are talking to. Well. Now, now, listen to me. Hear me by the Spirit of God. Hear me by the Spirit of God. Can we turn off the air? It's cold. I don't like the cold. We are already in winter. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. I can't see my revelation people on the screen up, up there. Can we get that working, Esther? I don't know what's going on with that. Now hear me by the Spirit of God. The prophet of God was caught up into heaven. And when he was caught up into heaven, he saw cherubims worshipping God. Yeah. And the cherubims were shouting one unto another. Yeah. Holy, holy, holy. God Almighty. The earth is filled with what? Glory. The earth is filled with your glory. Yes. Now your issue is you're praying for glory to come from heaven, yet the glory is not in heaven. Amen. Because angels who are in heaven are worshipping on account of what is happening on earth. But people who are on earth are trying to worship on account of what is in heaven, yet what they are worshipping is not in heaven. I pray that you listen to me. Yes. The earth is filled. Not your the earth has some glory. Is filled. Is filled. Meaning oversaturated. Overpopulated. Beyond comprehension. There is no more that you can add. The earth is filled with your glory now the question is this no 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 the question is this the earth is filled with the glory but you can't see it you can't see it because you don't even know what glory is the bible says the man is the glory of god and the woman is the glory of the man Meaning to see glory is to see the reflection of, to see the shadows of, to see the glimpse of a person. Your problem is you don't know. When angels look on earth, they see God. But because you cannot see your nature, you cannot see who he made you to be. You have no ability to worship or to activate the unction of the spirit of God that is in you. Jesus is preaching to them and Jesus says, you know, uh, I am the son of God. And they say, hey, Jesus, who do you think you are? You are a young man making yourself God. He said, before Abraham I am. They wanted to stone him. He said, is it not written in your scriptures that ye are what? And the scriptures cannot be what? The scriptures cannot be broken. 
How many pastors you know preach to you and say you are God? They don't because they think it is Satanism. Yet they are robbing you. Come on. If you are made in his image and like, Come okay. On. If your father is a lion, what are you? A lion. I have never seen a crocodile give birth to a turtle. The Bible literally tells you, you are the body. Yes, yes. Of Christ. You are somebody else's body. Yes. But you look at yourself, you separate yourself from that body. Woo. How can you access the divine glory that comes with that body? Teaching good. It is like you're misgendering yourself. Now, ah, let me say it. You know, we have an identity crisis. Big time. It's a spiritual problem. People have gone so far off from what God looks like that somebody will say, I am a cat. I am a cow. Me, I identify as rich. <laughs> Le let me not start trouble. <laughs> let the poor say, I am what? Rich. That's the identity God wants to give you. Amen. Let the weak say, I am what? Strong. Uh -uh, why are we fighting God? Why do we want identities that don't profit anything? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is not just church. This is Revelation Church. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without taking any time, Father, I thank you for your mercy and your grace. I thank you for who you are. I thank you that you change not. You are the Lord who remains the same, and it is by your grace that I am standing here. Father, have mercy on me. Cleanse me, purify me of every unrighteousness. And everyone else that is here, and all the thousands that are watching at home now and later, Father, we pray that you will reveal your glory unto us. Deliver us today. Set us free. Reveal yourself unto us. May we know you better than we did yesterday. Lord Jesus, may we continually fall deeper and deeper in love with you. And may we know you more than we did yesterday. Father, glorify yourself now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. And everybody said, Amen. Clap your hands to the Lord Jesus. Amen. Uh, yesterday, Revelation Worship dropped uh, a single, Love Don't Stop. Make sure you check it out. It's yeah. really amazing. You know, I wish I was there so I can skate a little, you know. It was a vibe, and it is a vibe. I want you to go to your Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 28, from verse number 8. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 8. Deuteronomy 28 and verse number 8. Deuteronomy 28, verse number 8. If you are there, shout glory. Glory. I, I don't like that one. Glory. I think you can do better for Jesus. One more. Glory. All right, let's read it together. One, two, three. The, the Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And, and he, he shall bless, bless thee in the land which, which the, is Lord the Lord thy God, God giveth thee. Amen. Let us read it one more time. One, two, three. The, the Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which, which the Lord thy God giveth thee. One more time. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy, in thy storehouses. And, and in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. I want you to look at your neighbor and read it to them. Read it to your neighbor. One, two, three. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses. And in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Amen. You may sit in heavenly places. 
Now it is very important by the spirit of God as I always say to understand the protocols and the and the ways of the spirit. When a believer does not understand the operations of the spirit, the manner of how God moves, how God operates, the man becomes immediately at a disadvantage. You become disadvantaged not because you don't have God, but you co because you don't know the God you're serving. The Bible says it like this. It says, those who know their God shall be strong and shall do great exploits. So the strength of a believer is not in prayer. Uh, you know, you didn't hear what I just told you. Amen. The strength of a believer is not in prayer. The strength of a believer is hidden in his ability to know God. And from that place of knowing God is where the power of a believer comes from. Yeah. Amen. If you observe the prayer of our precious Lord Jesus, he always referred to his father in such an intimate way. He will say, my father, I know you always hear me. But everyone else who prayed never referred to God in that way. So because he knew him as his father, he operated like a son. So you cannot function with God beyond your understanding of who God is. If you don't understand the protocols of the spirit, you don't understand your approach to God Almighty, you have already failed. A demon can overcome you, not because he is more powerful, but because he knows more than you do. I, I wish somebody could hear me. Every single thing you see on earth is simply a perversion of what God ordained. Satan has never invented anything. Satan has no power to invent anything, but he has the ability to lie. He's the father of lies. So he has the ability to pervert things. You have to understand he's the first to lie to himself. The Bible says you corrupted your own wisdom. So he deceived himself. He drank his own Kool-Aid. And after drinking his own Kool-Aid, he started giving other people to drink it also. And he destroyed other people in the process. So understand me by the spirit of the living God that your issue is not prayer. Because those who call upon the Lord, the Lord shall do what? He shall save them. The Lord has the power to rescue. But why is it you're saying, Jesus, nothing is happening? You're saying, Lord, nothing is happening. You can call Jesus' name 50 times, nothing happens. That some of you have bought into this foolish lie that you need to say his name in Hebrew for him to answer you. As if God is Jewish. The last time I checked, God is spirit. Amen. And those who are to worship him. Amen. 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 You, you guys don't miss me. Let me let you know. Amen. I should have continued to rest because I thought I was preaching. God is spirit. Yes. God is not human. Yes, he took upon himself the form of a human, but he's not human. Some people called him son of David, he stopped. Some people called him Jesus, he refused to stop. Because Jesus only was pulled by whoever understood his identity according to the spirit. Amen. Amen. You don't get Jesus' attention because you said his name. You get his attention because you pull his spirit. Teach. So understand this by the spirit of God. We are going somewhere. I'm just uh, opening up. So, so hear me by the spirit of God. Hear me. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee. Now, when you pray, you go to church, you say, uh, prophet, pray for my business to prosper. You go to your church, you say, Pastor, anoint my new car I just bought so that I don't get into accidents. <laughs> you go and you say, Father, anoint this. Huh? Father, do this. Huh? Can you pray for this? Can you pray for that? Can you, can you release a blessing over my business, my new clothing line, my new this, my new that, my new this? Do you know why you pray a missus? Because you don't know. If you look at the history of the operations of God, God does not bless in inanimate things. Because inanimate things have no ability. They are not life-giving. They are not alive. 
God cannot bless my shirt. God will bless me so that I can wear the shirt. Amen. Amen. Uh, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Amen. God will not bless my business. He will bless me so that when I do the business, the business will begin to what? Prosper. Amen. The Bible did not say your land will prosper. It said whatsoever you shall lay your hands on. So if I don't put my hands somewhere, there is no prosperity. Why? Because I am the conduit. I am the carrier. Yes. I am the vessel. I am the incubator. Yes. I feel like I'm talking to myself. You're teaching. teaching. I am the appointed place of the blessing. Amen. Whenever God speaks about blessings, he always speaks about a man, not a thing. The Bible says Job was a blessed man and he had this. Notice, those things were because of Job. Many of you have even now uh, centered your identity on your job. Come on. Yet your job is something that somebody else created that it is indeed a blessing to you, but they can take it away. If you lose the money you have, some of you, you change, uh, you know, I, those days I used to have this, those days I used to be like this. It's because your identity is centered on people, is centered on material things, but it is not centered on the blessing that is located within you. Yeah. Now, 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 look at, look at somebody like, like Joseph. Joseph was a slave boy. A slave boy. Shake your neighbor. Say, Joseph was Kunta Kinte. Joseph was Kunta Kinte. I can't hear you. Joseph was Kunta Kinte. Now, you can say it better. You can say it better. I can't hear you. Joseph was Kunta Kinte. They literally changed his name. He had an Egyptian name. We still call him Joseph because we know his identity. But he had a different name. They had to submit him to a different name. Uh, am I, wave your hands if you can hear me. Wave your hands if you can hear me. I'm just keeping it 100. Hello? Hello. How does a slave boy... Thank you, sir. <laughs> How does a slave boy be sent into slavery, sold? But whatever he does, in a country full of idols, in a country full of witchcraft, in a country that does not recognize Jehovah God, Whatever he's doing is getting blessed. You, you are full of tongues, full of rabba shata, rebe debe debe. Everything you're doing is failing. Let me talk to people who are real. You help me. Many of you will say, oh, you know, people are always fighting me. A witchcraft from my village. No. Listen, Joseph was in the center of sorcery. He was in the center of it. They even changed his name. You, you are saying, oh, they called me a liar. You are offended. Him, they changed his name. They took his identity from him. Took it from him. Do you realize Joseph lived in Egypt so long that he forgot about going home, even when he became a prince? He became a prince and he did not even think about his father or his brothers. That's how brainwashed he was because of how many years he spent in Egypt. There is no time he thought of, you know, now that I'm a prince of Egypt, let me just go and see my people and see how they are doing. My father must be old by now. He never thought of him until God sent them to him. But regardless of what was happening within his atmosphere, the blessing was Joseph. Yes. I prophesy to somebody right now. Yes. Amen. I speak to you by the spirit of the living God. Yeah. In every overflow, it doesn't matter if you're watching at home or you are here. You are the blessing of the living God. Yes. I will see. So, so capture me, capture me, capture me, capture me. 
the Lord shall command the blessing upon thee. Yes. So the blessing comes upon thee and in thy storehouse. Notice, your bank cannot be blessed until you are blessed. Let me take off my glasses. I feel like church is on this side. I don't know if the... Maybe I should go to the overflow in the lobby and... I'm looking for somebody I can really preach. You know, I haven't been in church for a little bit, so I'm looking for somebody I can preach to. My bishop is calling me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Your problem is not your account. Your problem is you. Teach. The problem is not your job. The problem is you. The problem is not that you're not working hard. The problem is you have not used the strength of the spirit. You are using physical strength. You have not entered into the inner man. The Bible says, let your adorning be of the inward man. It is him who is able to do all things through Christ. Not your flesh, but the inner man. Amen. Ah. So your account is suffering because of you, not because of a witch. Sit down for two seconds. Sit down for two seconds. Sit down for two seconds. You know, I don't believe in deliverance ministry. You know that, right? Yet I'm a great deliverer. If I didn't cast out demons, don't believe me. I am, in my generation, I'm one of the best demon busters there is. I know that for a fact. Amen. But I'm telling you, I don't believe in deliverance ministry. But why am I telling you that? It's because the church has been taught your solution is in casting out demons. Notice the Bible never called it deliverance. It called it casting out. Chasing somebody away. True deliverance comes by the word of the... If there is no scripture, there is no deliverance. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So if you don't have the truth about the blessing, you're still bound. Uh, If you don't know the truth about the blessing, you're still bound. You're bound 100%. Because you have to understand that in the spirit, ignorance is not a defense. Just because I don't know means nothing. Hello? Just because I don't know means nothing. Betty, is that you? Ah, My daughter, you're here. I didn't know that. Oh, come give me a hug. Run, 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 run. You're working, but you're here. I was like, "Uh uh-uh, I know that head. (laughs) I love you, mama. You're good? So so you hear me. Hear me by the spirit of God. Capture me by the spirit of God. Bondage of a child of God is not caused by Satan. It's caused by ignorance. Because Satan cannot stop what God has ordained. There is no witchcraft powerful enough to block God. You see, those who are not clapping, we know you believe in the devil more than God. If Jesus says yes, who can say no? And if Jesus says no, who can say yes? But many of you believe, you believe this, you believe that the devil can block your blessing. No, he can't. Daniel didn't know how to pray. Spiritual warfare. Gabriel is sent to him. Gabriel is withheld. But still Michael comes and opens the door. He still gets his breakthrough. Why? Because God said yes. So it doesn't matter what is happening. If God approves, it is approved. That's it. Amen. Whether people like it, whether people don't like it, 
whether people feel good about it, whether they don't feel good about it. You are multi-billionaire. Yes. You will build those orphanages. Yes. You will build those businesses. Yes. You will build those hospitals. You will build those homes. You will house people. You will change people's lives. Amen. Why? Because God has said yes. Amen. Because God, because God has said what? Yes. yes. Nobody can do nothing about it. I, I, are you hearing me, somebody? No, 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 no. Let me finish. I haven't even gone. I already have 20 minutes left. Hey, these days I feel like Esther is just pushing time on purpose. Now, now look at this. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee and in thy storehouse. And in all that thou settest thy hand upon. Notice, the blessing is following the hand. The blessing is not following the mouth. <laughs> the Christians pray too much, but they don't use their hands. Jesus. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. That God will give you the mind to use your hands. Use your, yes. use your hands. Yes. God himself to make the greatest thing. The Bible says God formed man with his own hands. His personal creation, everything else he spoke. But when he came to man, he formed him. He used his hands. He, 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 he did his thing. If God can get his hands dirty, what about you? Too much praying, no action. I like that. Say that one more time, mama. Shaka laka boom boom. Boom shaka laka boom boom. Let me not let, let, let me not get into it. <laughs> and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. So Israel is not blessed. It is the people in Israel that are making Israel what? Blessed. Yes. Amen. Let me prove it to you. Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. Hallelujah. I thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, oh God. I'm, I'm following you, Bishop. Please, somebody clap, clap for my Bishop Donko. Stand, stand. My, my, favorite, my favorite Bishop. My elder, my elder. <laughs> Uh, you, you haven't done your finger, your famous finger. We need, we need to, uh -huh. Listen, I'm surrounded by wisdom, elders. Look at Apostle. Amen. Apostle, Apostle. Today is not Sunday, you're wearing a beautiful suit like this. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, you shouldn't try. You should be wearing t shirt. Look at me. I came in like an Eskimo today. You, uh, you know? Glacier, glacier, little ice. <laughs> ah, they missed it. They didn't get it. <laughs> this is why they hate on some of us. We just like good things because we are blessed. Now, 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 watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. <clears throat> and the Lord God took the man. Adam was not created in the Adam in, in the garden, sorry. Adam was not created in the garden. Adam was created outside of the garden. He was created from the earth. But you have to remember, the garden of Eden was a spiritual atmosphere from heaven that was migrated into the earth. That is why the Bible tells you, and God planted a garden eastward of Eden. But notice... The gardens of the earth needed rain. But the garden of Eden already had fruits. Already had trees. It did not depend on the climate of the earth to produce anything. Because if Adam is created and he wakes up, what will he eat? Adam is supposed to eat. So there were already trees. There was the tree of life. There were other trees. There were already life-giving trees in the garden. But God created him from, uh, from the earth, from the dust of the earth, and took him and planted him into the garden that he planted from heaven, that he migrated from heaven and put on earth. 
Now, I want you to look at what he says. He says, And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden. The word Eden means earth. The garden of the earth. To dress it and to keep it. Now, this is a problem here. The word to dress is not to take care of it. It's to work on it. The word to dress means to till the ground. Now, there is a problem here. There is a problem. There is an issue. The Garden of Eden already has trees. The Garden of Eden is already producing fruit. The Garden of Eden already has angels living in it. The Garden of Eden is where God is visiting when he comes on earth. But Adam has been created and then migrated into the Garden to till the ground of the garden. But you only realize one thing. Because you don't really read scripture the way it should be read. When Adam was kicked out of the garden. The Lord said, I am sending you back to the ground that you came from. So that you can go and till that ground. But when he was planted in the garden. He was also planted in the garden. To till the ground and to keep it. Notice, to keep means to protect. He was put in the garden to work the garden, to work the ground, and also to protect it. When he was sent out of the garden, he was only sent to what? Till the ground so that it can provide for him. But the Lord said, cursed is the ground for your sake. This is Genesis 3. Cursed is the ground for your sake. By the sweat of your brow shall you eat. Thorns and thistles shall it give unto you. But when he was in the garden, it was a heavenly atmosphere. Yes. But God is saying, till the ground. God is saying, protect it. Your failure is you think, when God puts you in the blessing, everything works. You didn't hear what I just told you. You think that when God just takes you and says, now I have put you where your destiny is. You just say, okay, now Holy Ghost take over. It's a lie. It doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. It doesn't work like that. Adam was in the garden of God. What was he supposed to work? He was supposed to discover, ah, this is the tree of life. I need to eat from this one. I need to find a way to multiply this one. I need to find a way to do, and to protect it. Remember, there were no enemies, but he was told to protect it. How many of you are dressing your spiritual life? You are praying to be blessed where the ground is cursed. But the Bible tells you God has taken you out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. But you are still finding struggles in life. Why? You have not discovered something important. That to be in the center of God's purpose means you begin to work out your own salvation. You begin to put the word of God to work. If the Lord says I am above and not below... I am in the midst of his will. Yes. It does not change. I am above and not below. Yeah. Even if it looks like things, I think like I'm talking to myself. Yeah. You are supposed to till and to keep it. Yeah. When you build your faith, you are also supposed to protect your faith. Yeah. Uh, if you hear me, shout hello. Uh, somebody shout hello, hello. hello, hello. When, 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 you, when, you, when you build your faith, it is also your duty to protect your faith. That is why Jesus said to his disciples, I pray that your faith will not fail. Because faith can fail. Just because you feel the anointing, doesn't mean your faith is there. Feelings are for children. Faith is for the mature. 
because faith has no feelings. Amen. Faith is because you know that you know that you know that you know that you know. Amen. Deep within your spirit that what God has said is established no matter what. Amen. Amen. That is how it operates. That is how it functions. That is how God wants you to be. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. So, so hear me by the spirit of God, children of God. Hear me by the spirit of God. Miss you, Papa. I, I, miss, I miss you more. Sometimes I just need to rest, you know. Yes. I'm, I'm always going. So, so hear me by the spirit of God. Hear me by the spirit of God. Hear me by the spirit of God. You being in the center of God's will does not mean you stop fighting. If anything, the fight becomes more intense. Jesus is born as the savior of the world. That was the height of his battle. Worse than the cross because he was a baby. He couldn't even defend himself. But that's when they want to kill him. Are you understanding what I'm saying to you? So the most dangerous and where the battle will be intense is when you are at the center of God's will. Absolutely. That is when the deceiver shows up to try and destroy your faith. Absolutely. That is when the deceiver shows up to try and talk down your faith. How can Adam be in the center of God's will? And God is saying, hey, dress it and protect it. Dress it and protect it. But God, this is your garden. You are the one who is supposed to protect it. No. You dress it and what? Protect it. Your level, your dimension is only in the fingertips of your hands and in your decision to say that God what you have given me I am taking it by force Amen. I don't care how much I am resisted I don't care how much I am resisted yes let me talk to somebody I don't care how much I am resisted yes I don't care how difficult the battle is. Yes. I don't care how ugly things look. Yes. I will stand on God's word because that is my place of calling. Yes. Stop believing for a job to be your blessing. You are the blessing that will go to that job. Amen. Amen. Stop believing a movie will change your life. You are the one that will change the movie's life. Amen. Stop believing that that opportunity will shift your life. No, you are the one who will shift people's lives Amen. because of that opportunity. Amen. The Bible declares that the blessing of God is on the descendants of Abraham. Not on projects that they will meet. Revelation Church is Revelation Church because of Lovey Elias. Period. Nobody gave me a platform. Nobody gave me an opportunity. And I don't need it. I've never needed it. If God called me, then God will do what he needs to do. Amen. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. Why? Because I am the blessing God has put in my generation. Yes. To be a blessing to those whom he has sent unto me. Amen. Yes. I am not sent to everyone. But I'm sent to specific people. Yes. Amen. You are also a blessing. Yes. You are a blessing primarily to yourself. Then you are a blessing to those who are around you. Maybe your immediate family or your friends. You are a blessing to them. And the blessing keeps spilling over. Why? Because the cup overflows. Amen. Amen. But when he talks about the cup, you're thinking about a cup you drink. The cup is you. You are a vessel. You are the cup that is overflowing. Amen. That God pours into, but he will not stop pouring into. Amen. Amen. Until everyone around you has been elevated to where God wants you to be. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. 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 
So hear me by the spirit of the living God. Hear me by the spirit of the living God. Believe who God has called you to be. Amen. 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 Your clapping says you doubt it. Trust me, I believe. Trust me, I believe. You are going through difficult times. It does not mean you're not in the garden. I'm going to say that one more time. Say it again. You going through difficult times does not mean you're not in the garden. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. You are in the garden. You are in the garden. Being in the garden doesn't mean things are smooth. They don't need to be because you are the smoothness that God has sent. Amen. The word anointing means what? Fatness. It means oil. So God doesn't need to make a place smooth. He just needs to grease you up. No, 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 no. You didn't hear what I'm saying. He just needs to pour oil on you. Yes. And you begin, you begin to be slippery. The devil wants to catch you. He can't catch you. Situation wants to hold you. They can't hold you. Why? You are anointed, appointed for... Amen. 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 The louder the amen, the greater the miracle. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to lift your hands to heaven. I want you to stand up. I want you to lift your hands to heaven. And begin to speak to the Lord. Tell the Lord Jesus, thank you that I am the blessing of God. Thank you that I am your blessing. I am the vessel of blessing on earth. I am the carrier of the blessing upon the earth. Oh Lord, thank you for making me a blessing. It does not matter what things look like. I am the one who is going to be the game changer. Lift your voice and speak to the Lord. Lift your voice. Father, thank you that we are a blessing. Thank you, Father, that we are conduits and carriers of the blessing, Father. Thank you, Father, that we walk with the blessing. That we are the blessing. Father, thank you that we are the blessing. Thank you that we are the blessing, Lord Jesus, for this generation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, that we are the blessing in this generation. Lift your voice, lift your voice. I can't hear you. Lift your voice. Thank you, Father. That we are the blessing. That we are the carriers of the blessing. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we are the blessing. That we are the blessing in this generation. Thank you, O God. Thank you, Father, that we are the blessing. Pray, pray, pray. Thank you, Father, 
I am the blessing. I am the blessing in this generation. I am the blessing in my household. I am the blessing in my family. Thank you that I am the blessing. I am the blessing. Thank you, O oh God, that I am the conduit of your blessing. Thank you, God, that where I am, your blessing is. Thank you, O oh God. Roko tanda la bakia. Kezo katin sidi katanda la bazanga dede. Raka tanda le bagaya. Thank you, O oh God, that my presence is the evidence of your blessing. Thank you, O oh God, that wherever my feet tread, it is, it is blessed. Thank you, O oh God, that I am the carrier of the blessing. Thank you, O oh God. Roko kore sentini mazanta ya. I am the blessing. Hentele maku. Thank you, O oh God, that the blessing is not dependent upon circumstances, environment, or situation, but that you have made me the blessing. Thank you that I am the blessing, and that every place that I go is blessed because I'm there, and everything I do is blessed because it's through me, and everything that you send me to is blessed because I carry your presence. Father, may I have eyes to recognize that I am the blessing. May I begin to speak according to it, that I am the blessing, that I am the blessing. Will be broken. Every curse will be Lift broken. your voice and begin to pray. Every curse will be broken because of the blessing. There is no curse that can stand. Because of the blessing, every curse is broken. Because of the blessing, every agreement with the darkness is broken. Everything that binds me is broken. Because of the blessing.
is said all day. You guys don't want me to prophesy. Prophesy. I want to fly. I want to fly. I want my spirit to go. We want God's word to be settled. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Prophecy to one is prophecy to all. Whenever God points out an issue, it's because he's setting somebody free. Amen. Not just the person I'm ministering to, but anyone that will listen will believe God that if you can do that for them, you shall surely also do it for me. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Today, solve my situation. Today, solve my situation. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Today, solve my situation. Today, solve my situation. Lift your voice and begin to pray. There are four that are with you, but there were two from your late husband. Four from my own, two uh -huh. from my late husband. Two from Three your late, from my late husband. Sorry. Three, four. Which one? Did any of them live with you or no? Yes, one of them lived with me. Okay, but thank you. Two. Come. Amen. Prophesy. Prophesy. Come, come with your mother quickly. You just need, you just need a touch. Come, mama. Mama, you are fine now. Look how well you are dressed. African mothers. Always classy. Hey! 
Mama Ghana, you see, you're, you're going to lose your throne. Where is the Queen of Wakanda? Uh, Mama Ghana, you're going to lose your glory. Mama, hold my, my hand. I want to pray for you. Okay? I want to pray for you for God to take away your sorrow. Amen. Too much sorrow. Okay? I won't go into too many things. But I just want to pray that the sorrow will be taken from you. Amen. Look at me, Mama. <laughs> Father, take away Mama's pain. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift what you want to give to God. Lift it high. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus I honor you with my giving. I honor you with my giving. Glorify yourself even now. Glorify yourself even now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. As I give, as I give, I am prospering. I am prospering. I am increasing. I am increasing. I am increasing. I am increasing. I am elevating. I am elevating. I am accelerating. I am accelerating. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. This mama, this lady with red, with the blondish hair, you, okay? I have a question for you. I'm seeing a vision. I'm trying to understand if maybe my prophetic juice is low, okay? I saw an engagement ring coming into your finger. Yes. Are you hearing me? Can I prophesy or no prophesy? Prophesy. I, let me finish my prophecy. Okay. Uh -uh. Okay. <laughs> I saw an engagement ring coming into your finger. Really? Are you hearing me? I hear you. But when the ring I was it. when the ring was coming into your finger, uh huh, something happened and disrupted this relationship. The devil. <laughs> <laughs> I love our church. The devil. <laughs> this was a three-year kind of relationship kind of thing. And I'm seeing the devil entering, and the ring that was supposed to settle on your finger was removed. Why? Are you hearing me? Why? Uh -uh, that's, that's why I want to help you now. Oh, okay. Can I help you? Don't you want to get married I, and engaged? Yes, I'm fasting, and I, I turned down all the men yesterday because I didn't want to have... Uh -uh. <laughs> now I want to give you the right man. <laughs> give me the right man. Somebody shall fire. Fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. The right man. Come, come, I want to help you, run. Ah. Ah, your market is deep, you have to turn down clients. Hmm. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, this one is different. <laughs> You're believing for your husband. Yes. I'm telling you, I saw your, your ring finger, I saw this engagement ring coming in and the enemy stole it from you what are you here it? was it it doesn't matter if it's big the point is getting married <laughs> you're not going to eat a ring okay. <laughs> a ring means nothing children of god <laughs> a ring is cool but what house you're going to live in what kind of lifestyle you're going to have what you're going to eat is what matters most just flexing ring don't mean nothing Okay? <laughs> I know you like good things, but I have to pray for you because this is a spirit. It's not a good thing. Relationships don't really work for you. No. They always end up wrong. I am seeing a ring coming into your finger. What year? We are in 2024. This is in 2021. You are supposed to get engaged and to get married. The enemy disrupted this thing and stole it from you. I am watching it in a vision. The Lord said... Wedding bells are coming, but you need deliverance this time. Are you hearing me? Yes. <sighs> Mighty name of Jesus. Clap your hands to the Lord. Amen. Come, come and give to Jesus. Come and give to Jesus. Amen. Can we get a good song? Let's let's give me a nice song.
bless you. God strengthen you. Go from this place knowing that you're more than a conqueror. We love you, Revelation Nation. We love you. Blessings to your homes, blessings to your families. In Jesus' name. We'll see you on Sunday. Make sure you invite friends and families. God bless you.